During the spring and autumn period, and the period of the Warring States, China was divided into six states that often restored the war with each other in their struggles for supremacy. Warfare was the predominant way of life. In 221 BC, Chinese first emperor Qin Shi Huang united China, built his kingdom, that's Qin Dynasty. Qin's culture and history affected China in a great deal, such as terracotta warriors. We still can see that in today's museum in China. And also, there is only one city connected to his name, that city named Qin Huangdao. Welcome to Travel Lock. My name is Chen Lei, and welcome back to our culture and historical series. Let's go to the experience Qin Dynasty through the Great Wall. The king of the Qin state, Ying Zheng, conquered the other six kingdoms through ten years of wars and brought an end to the Warring States period in 221 BC. He built up the Qing Dynasty, the first unified, multinational, power-centralized state in Chinese history, by making Xianyang a city near today's Xi'an city in the Shanxi province, his capital city. Although Qing is a short dynasty with a span of only 15 years, it started of a 2,000 years long imperial history in China and exerted a far-reaching influence on the subsequent dynasties. Qin Emperor lived from 259 BC to 210 BC. He was crowned at the age of 13 after his king father died. After Qin Shi Huang unified China, he made many tours of inspection around the country. He visited Hebei three times and once reached Qin Huangdao city. Qin Huangdao located in the northeast of China's capital city, Beijing. It is about 300 kilometers between the two cities. Qin Huangdao got its name just because Emperor Qin Shi Huang once visited it. In Chinese, Qin refers to Qin Dynasty. Huang means an emperor, and Dao an island. The name Qin Huangdao in English means an island that Emperor Qin Shi Huang of the Qin Dynasty once visited. Except for frontiers in the west, southwest, and northeast, Qin's territory has been kept fairly intact up the present date. For the past 2,000 some years in Chinese history, the Great War has been destroyed by civil wars many times. But since the Qing Dynasty, as a matter of fact, they started to rebuild the Great War. After that, few dynasties, every dynasty that rebuild, reconstruct the Great War. But among the history, Ming Dynasty had the best design of the Great War, such as the part behind me that's still left today. The name called Shan Hai Guan, translated in English, literally means the post between the mountain and the ocean. North of the district Shanghai Guan is a famous Yanshan Mountain, and the south of it is the Bohai Sea. And in between the mountain and sea, located critical paths where the Great Wall post was built. The Great Wall in the eastern part of China was expanded in the Ming Dynasty. In addition to the inner Great Walls built earlier and further south, Hebei has a total length of Great Walls as long as 2,000 kilometers. The enlargement of Qin territory was aided by frequent military expeditions pushing forward the frontiers in the north. 
to fend off barbarous intrusion. The strengthening walls built by the various warring states were connected to make a 5,000-kilometer-long Great Wall. What is commonly referred to as the Great Wall is actually four Great Walls rebuilt or extended during the Western Han, Sui, Jin, and Ming periods, rather than a single continuous wall. At its extremities, the Gui Wall reaches from northeastern Keilongjiang Province to northwestern Gansu. A number of public works projects were also undertaken to consolidate and strengthen imperial rule. These activities required enormous levels of manpower and resources, as well as repressive measures. Lao Longtou, a place where the Great Wall meets the ocean, the outstanding post at this area called Shanghai Guan, known as the first pass under heaven. Since the Great Wall is built by the military for the defending system, it's a protection wall. So the location is very important. For example, here, it's very east side of the Great Wall. It connects directly to the sea. And the west side, called Jiayi Guan, is built on the Gobi Desert. Here we call that Lao Long Tou. Translated in English is Old Dragon Head. Old means long time, long history. Dragon means power. Head, obviously, is the beginning. A large number of Greek kilns for the construction of the Great Wall during the Ming Dynasty were recently discovered near the starting point of the wall. As of present, 48 Greek kilns had been unearthed in Bai Changyu village, which is 28 kilometers from Qinghuangda. Experts believe that the kilns were used to make bricks for the Great Wall. They are the oldest kilns of this time ever to be discovered in China. Back 400 years ago, the Great Wall made by three major compounds mixed together. It's mud, sticky rice, and the rock. And actually, a few hundred years ago in Qing Dynasty, they started to use some materials similar like that. And this is the final product. <laughs> 